good morning and jai hind to all <coughs> today i have to discuss our last top section of chapter differentiation it is higher order derivatives in this section we discuss only the second derivative part now explain what is higher order derivatives If suppose if we, y is a function which is differentiable at a point x if denoted as f dash and the function f dash is differentiable at the point same point x which is denoted as f double dash that means if y is equal to f of x is a function you differentiate this function with respect to x is denoted as d by dx of y that is dy by dx again we differentiate this function with respect to x is denoted as d by dx of dy by dx is equal to d d d square y divided by dx into dx dx square that mean this is f double dash and which is f dash that mean we denote second derivative as d square y by dx square and first derivative dy by dx now discuss some problems based on this section if y is equal to x into sin x find d square y by dx square first we differentiate with respect to x therefore we get answer dy by dx is equal to here we apply product rule that is x into derivative of sin is cos x plus second function sin x into derivative of x with respect to x is 1 that is x cos x plus sin x now finding the second derivative again we differentiate with respect to x you know second derivative is denoted as d square y divided by d x square is equal to here also we again we apply product rule that is x into you know the derivative of cos x is minus sin x plus second function is cos x into derivative of x is 1 again derivative of sin x is again cos x that is equal to minus x sin x plus cos x plus cos x to cos x so that's all okay now let's discuss one more question that is y is equal to x log x here we apply product rule we get first derivative is y1 that means y1 or y dash y1 means d by dx y2 means d square by dx okay, that is y1 is equal to here we apply product that is x into derivative log x is 1 by x plus log x into derivative of x with respect to x is 1 here x is cancel and therefore we get answer 1 plus log x again we differentiate this function with respect to x denoted as y2 you know the derivative 1 with is zero is it because a constant value and derivative log x become 1 by x that's all it's very simple okay one more question you take y is equal to tan x find y2 y2 means d square y by dx square First, we find y1 differentiating with respect to x, y1. That means derivative of tan x is secant square x. Again, differentiating with respect to x, that is y2. 
is equal to see square x mean x square form you know the derivative of square is 2x and derivative of secant square is sec x is comes by x and therefore the derivative become 2 sec x into using function of function derivative of sec x become sec x into tan x that is equal to we get answer 2 secant square x into tan x that's all it's a very simple questions but majority of the problem based on the second derivative is a proof type questions or uh, some other type questions. Now we start that questions. Y is equal to <coughs> A cos x plus B sin x. Prove that D square Y divided by D x square plus Y equal to 0 d square y by dx square plus y is equal to 0. d square y by dx square plus y is equal to 0. Okay. First we differentiate with respect to x. The derivative y with respect to x is dy by dx is equal to derivative of cos x you know the derivative cos x is minus sin x plus b into derivative sin x is cos x again we differentiate with respect to x that means d square y divided by d x square is equal to minus a derivative sin x is cos x minus b sin x because derivative cos x is minus sin x. Here minus is common and therefore a cos x plus b sin x. You already know what is a cos x plus b sin x is a given function y and therefore minus y. Finally, we get answer d square y by dx square plus y is equal to 0. Prove. We have to prove that d square y by dx square plus y is equal to 0. Now, discuss one more question similar to this category that is y is equal to a cos log x plus b sin log x. Prove that x square into y2 plus x into y1 plus y equal to 0. x square into y2 plus x into y1 plus y is equal to 0. First we differentiate the given function with respect to x. That is first derivative is denoted as y1. It is a symbol. That is a into derivative cos is minus sin log x into function of function derivative log x is 1 by x plus b into derivative sin is cos of log x into using function of function derivative log x is again 1 by x. You remember in that case that mean if a function on the right side is a fraction form before differentiating, first we cross multiply the denominator to the left side. Otherwise, it is very difficult to prove this. So, first we cross multiply in that case, which that means a function is in the form fraction on the right side. Then, first you cross multiply the denominator to the left side, then differentiate. Okay, here the denominator becomes x. First of all, you cross multiply the denominator to the left side, we get the answer y1 into x is equal to minus a sin log x plus b cos log x. Otherwise, we use a quotient rule and this is a very lengthy process and it is very difficult to get this uh, proved equation. Now, differentiating with respect to x, here on the left side, we apply product rule because y1 is a function with the variable x. So, we apply product rule, it is y1 into, you know the derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus second function is x into derivative of y1 means y2, that means y1 means dy by dx and y2 means the second derivative is d square y by d square y2 is equal to minus a 
derivative sign cos of log x into function of function log is derivative is 1 by x plus b into derivative cos is minus sine that is minus b into sine of log x into function of function log is derivative is 1 by x again is on the right side is a fraction form so we cross multiply the denominator to the left side therefore x into y1 plus x y2 is equal to here minus is a common sign we get answer a cos log x plus b sin log x we already know a cos log x plus b sin log x as a given function y is equal to minus y now multiply x we get answer x into y1 plus x into x that is x square y2 plus x into y1 equal to minus y that implies x square y2 plus x into y1 plus y is equal to 0 we proved and proved okay it's very important type question we'll repeat more y is equal to a cos log cos log s plus b sin log s first we differentiate we give one function with respect to x derivative cos is minus sin log s into function of function log s derivative is 1 by x then sin log s is cos log s into log s derivative is 1 by x before differentiating the second derivative first we cross multiply the x to the left side that is mean y1 into x is equal to minus a sin log s plus b cos log s now differentiating with respect to x that is y1 into derivative x is 1 plus x into derivative y1 is y2 that is second derivative on right side we get minus a cos log s by x minus b sin log s by x here x is again cross multiply in the left side we get x square y2 plus x y1 is minus y that mean our answer is x square y2 plus x y1 plus y is equal to 0 that's all it's very important question uh, try to practice two or more times okay now we we'll discuss one more question based on this category that is y is equal to log of x plus square root of x square plus 1. Prove that x square plus 1 into y2 plus x into y1 is equal to 0. x square plus 1 into y2 plus x into y1 is equal to 0. First we differentiate with respect to x. That is y1. You know the derivative log is 1 by x. Here 1 divided by x plus square root of x square plus 1 into again we apply function of function the derivative x is 1 plus and derivative root is 1 by 2 root of x square plus 1 into function of function derivative x square plus 1 is 2x plus 0 here 2 to cancel that is 1 divided by x plus square root of x square plus 1 into here you take LCM as a root of x square plus 1 on cross multiplying we get answer root of x square plus 1 plus x here the numerator and denominator are same cancel and therefore y1 is equal to we get answer 1 divided by square root of x square plus 1. Now we find second derivative. Before finding the second derivative, first we cross multiply the fraction denominator. That means y1 into square root of x square plus 1 is equal to 1. It's a very easy method. So now differentiating with respect to x, we get answer first into derivative root is 1 by 2 root of x square plus 1 into function of function derivative x square plus 1 is 2x plus second is root of x square plus 1 into derivative y1 is y2 and derivative 1 is 0 here 2 2 cancel here the denominator become 1 now the LCM is root of x square plus 1 that is root of x square plus 1 on cross multiply y into x y 1 that is x y 1 on into y 1 into x that is x y 1 
plus this cross multiplying this term we get answer root x square plus 1 into root x square plus 1 that is x square plus 1 root of x square plus 1 the whole square that means x square plus 1 into y2 equal to 0 on cross multiplying denominator to the left right side that is 0 into root of x square plus 1 is 0 and finally we get answer x square plus 1 into y2 plus x into y1 is equal to 0. That's all. Okay. Now, the first derivative we get y1 is equal to 1 by root of x square plus 1. Before finding the second derivative, cross multiply the denominator to the left side, we get y1 into root of x square plus 1 is equal to 1. Again, we differentiate and therefore, left side we apply product rule. First into derivative root is 1 by 2 root of x square plus 1 into function of function derivative x square plus 1 is 2x. Plus root of x square plus 1 into derivative y1 is y2 is equal to 0. Now, the uh, LCM is root of x square plus 1 into 1 that is root of x square plus 1. On cross multiplying, we get answer 1, 1 into y1x that is xy1 plus this into this that is root of square plus 1 the whole square is x square plus 1 into y2 equal to 0. Across multiplying this term, finally we get answer square plus 1 into y2 plus xy1 is equal to 0. Now discuss one more question based on this category. It's also a very important question. It's a, it's a special problem question. x plus 1 into e raised to y like your e raised to y into x plus 1 is equal to 1. It's an NCRT question. We have to prove that y2 is equal to y1 the whole square. There are different methods are available for finding the derivative of this function. Uh, directly we are differentiating using product rule, we get answer, but it's a very lengthy process. So uh, a, uh, we use a simple technique for finding the derivative. Uh, we first we convert uh, this as a function of is any clearly is an implicit form first we convert as a function of x that means explicit function of x okay so we have we have here e, e raised to y is equal to we get answer 1 by x plus 1 okay you already know log e raised to x is x log e raised to x is equal to x and therefore log e raised to y is y. So we take log on both sides. Take log on both sides, therefore take log on both sides. That means log e raised to y is equal to log 1 divided by x plus 1. You know what is log e raised to x? x. And therefore log e raised to y? y. You already know what is log a by b. Log a by b means log a minus log b. Using that result, log a correspond to 1 and b correspond to x plus 1. Log a that is log 1 minus log b correspond to x plus 1 is equal to log 1 is 0. Then therefore we get answer minus log x plus 1. Therefore our function can be simplified in this in the form y is equal to minus log of x plus 1 that is e raised to y into x plus 1 equal to 1 can be converted in the form y is equal to minus of log x plus 1. It's an explicit function of x. Now we are differentiating with respect to x that is y1 minus of derivative log is 1 by x plus 1 into function of function derivative x plus 1 is 1. Again differentiating with respect to x that is y2 is equal to minus of which is of the form 1 by x. You already know what is the derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. Therefore, derivative of 1 by x plus 1 is minus 1 divided by x plus 1 the whole square into function of function derivative x plus 1 is 1. That is equal to minus into minus plus 1 by x plus 1 the whole square. Is equal to, you already know what is y1? y1 is minus 1 by x plus 1. And what is y1 the whole square? It is y1 square means y1 square. y1 square means 1 by x plus 1 the whole square. Therefore, 1 by x plus 1 the whole square is y1 square. Sorry. y1 whole square. That is y2 is equal to, that is y2 is equal to, we get answer y1 the whole square that's all it's very easy 
okay uh, first you convert the above function the form y is equal to f of x then differentiating with respect to x we get answer minus 1 by x plus 1 again differentiating with respect to x we get answer 1 by x plus 1 the whole square which is y1 square and therefore y2 is equal to y1 square that's all now we have uh, to uh, some homework questions y is equal to 3 cos log x plus 4 sin log x prove that x square into y2 plus x into y1 plus y is equal to 0 second question y is equal to log of x plus square root of x square plus a square prove that x square plus a square into y2 plus x into y1 equal to 0. This is similar to the third problem, I think. Now, the third question, y is equal to 3e raised to 2x plus 2e raised to 3x. Prove that y2 minus 5y1 plus 6y is equal to 0. y2 minus 5y1 plus 6y is equal to 0. Okay. Now try to find the derivative of this function. On the next class, we have to discuss some more problem based in, on second derivative. That's all. Thank you.